Good morning, everyone. Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous morning. Just woke up, it's 6 a.m., and uh, I gotta go open the door for the wood floor, guys. So I think I'm on day four in the van. It's, uh, 43 in here and 69. No, 43 outside and 69 in here. Whew. It's 6 a.m. All right, I just flipped on the heater. Uh, I've been comfortable. I don't know anything about the condensation yet. I'm going to take off the covers and see what we got going on there. So I will catch you guys in just a little while. All right, be back shortly after I take my son to school. Hey guys, I'm back. Okay, well, uh, a couple things here. So yesterday it rained quite a bit uh, on and off, as did the day before. And um, unfortunately, I didn't realize it, but my curtain on the driver's side there, it was kind of caught in the door a little bit and ended up getting wet. So the wetness from the part that was sticking out of the door that I didn't see absorbed all the way through the curtain. And uh, by the time I got home last night, it was still hanging, but pretty wet and not like really dripping off or anything. But I was like, holy moly, that's something that I'm going to be mindful of next time and make sure that my curtains are all shut into the door instead of having a little piece hanging out. Anyhow, uh, I fixed that issue. Uh, no rain, of course, got in through the top of the, the uh, window over there because of the rain guard, which is, those are just those are just an absolute must if you're a van camper because you have to ventilate your van. You have to have that uh, ability to roll down your window and not be detected and uh, also not let any wetness in if it's raining or snowing or whatever the case may be. But, you you know, there could be a time when it is raining and you do need to ventilate your van. So rain guards are a must. I would look into them. I got them through WeatherTech. Anyhow, I fixed that issue and through the night, the curtain dried completely fine. And I have to say, I think it was probably... Uh, due to this this little heater I have that I have hooked up to the house here. If you're just joining me, I'm actually camping in my driveway, van camping in my driveway right now because my floors are being finished in the house. So a couple more days in the van and we should be good with that. But I'm happy I have this van and I'm happy that I'm able to do this in my driveway and be comfortable. I can use the restroom in the house um, after the floors dry and whatever, but uh, I'm pretty much stuck outside for like eight hours uh, throughout the day and my husband is in the basement. <laughs> That guy, he's working. He's got his whole office down there, so he's, he's content. He's got food, refrigerator, toilet, and a whole shebang. So he's good to go, and he's just working away downstairs, and uh, I basically hang out in my van while we're getting the floors. But anyhow, um, in the last couple of days, I haven't checked the condensation on the window, so I'm really curious to see how that built up over the last few days. And right now, it's 99% humidity, and it has been pretty high for the last three days or so. So anyhow, let's get to it. Let's see what the condensation looks like under these window covers. All right, let's check uh, this window first here. Nothing here, which is kind of surprising. Yep, we have some condensation here. Can you guys see it? I'm going to pull this off for a minute. Excuse me. Let's see here. Look at that. Can you see it? So we have some here. And I will say that is due mostly to the fact that I had these windows cracked open. Not fully uh, open, but a little bit cracked open. And when my husband was visiting me in the van yesterday, he said, hey, uh, you have a little moisture here? I realized I had the windows open still and it was raining. So I kind of feel like that's what that moisture is from. So let's check the side over here. Oh, okay, nothing going on here. Not even at the top, but you can see the rain guards here, right? The darkness right there. So those are, um, put on the car from the outside when you crack your window. These ones aren't cracked. The two front windows are cracked. It uh, provides a shield for the inside of your car not getting wet. So I'm going to leave this up here. Well, I guess I'll take it off now because it just came off. I'm going to turn them around also because I don't feel like the reflective part really helped keep any heat in. And I don't know whether or not it's because the heater that I'm using has dry heat, but it's very humid out. I just don't understand how this is working. Okay, so this window as well. Again, I had these cracked. And you can see that um, we have quite a bit of condensation. But the water was running down into here. And that was an issue. Let's see back here. 
nothing going on back here. All right, I'm going to dry off these windows here and put the covers back up. Let's check underneath the windshield real quick here. Come on down, sister. I don't see any condensation up there. Oh, I do at the very bottom. I do at the very bottom. So I can only assume it's on that side too. This is where I had the window curtain all wet, but looks like they're completely dry over there. But I had the corner of this curtain stuck in the door there and it ended up getting all wet. So I'll be mindful of that next time. Do I have it caught in here? Let's see. Oh, I do a little bit. Look at that. But this one's not wet at all and no condensation here either. Okay, let me get the van put back together, put the window covers back in, because the wood guys are here right now and I want a little privacy in my van, so I'll be back in a flash. All right, new plan. I decided to keep the windshield reflectic off. I just need some natural light in here. I'm pretty sick and tired of the artificial light with the O-ring light, which is great if you're in a dark situation and you don't have natural light and love my my camping lights, but I just need some natural sunlight. So I know it's not perfect, but just bear with me. Anyhow, uh, just ran in the house and grabbed a small um, power strip here to plug in both my uh, heater and my Jackery at the same time. My Jackery was down to 37%. You know, I've had my fridge uh, hooked up to it for a few days. Okay. Just got cars in my driveway and a lot of people here. I, I just don't think I'll be able to get out and drive around to uh, charge up the Jackery. So I just got a small power strip. So we're going to have the heat on, which I know you hear and I know it can be a little bit annoying. But when I got back in the van, it was so chilly in here. It was in the 50s in the van and it's uh, 39 out right now, but the van says 66, I believe. So yeah. Got the heater on. I know it's a little bit annoying with that background noise. There's no way Nance is staying in the house tonight, so very thankful that I have my van. I'm so content and comfortable in here. It's just great to be able to hang out at my house in my van. Even though I'm van camping in my driveway, I can't tell you how content I am in this small space. And let's just talk about small spaces for a hot minute here. Um, it's super duper important to make sure we're keeping our stuff in order in our space. It's really easy to start getting busy doing things in here and not put things away. And that just makes for a really uncomfortable living space, especially when your space is small. So for me, it's really important to put everything back where I find it and make my bed when I get up in the morning, just to keep your space comfortable. If I'm making food or getting things out, I mean, if I don't put those things away, they're just going to be laying all over here and that would drive me bananas. And the idea is, is to always put your stuff away when you're done using it so you have a very comfortable space to reside in. And that's that. So all is well here. It's been a great few days. I'm really thankful that I can uh, van camp in my driveway. What can I say? And Jackery's been working out great. My refrigerator's working out great. I've got it stocked with some more food in there, which I'm going to be eating here shortly. I hope you guys are doing well. Just wanted to check in and say, hey, everything's going great on day number four here. And that's that. So you guys have a good one. I will catch up with you later. Until next time.